Hi everybody! Just in case you don't know, I am Sandy Sandler and I'm the creator of the Bodabra. And we are going to make some really super, super simple no sew hair bows. So I'm going to start by actually making a ribbon rose that's really pretty. I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire, I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to lay it into my mini Bodabra, I'm just tucking the ends underneath. I'm gonna let it sit there. Now I have this really pretty piece of trim. So I'm just gonna lay this into my mini Bodabra. And now I'm going to take, these are five inches wide and, um, I mean five inches long and one and a half inches wide. And I'm just gonna go to the middle and lay those down. Jeannie in. says hi, Sandy. Hi, Jeannie. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope everything's great with you. And I love the bows that you shared in our Facebook group. So I'm just gonna lay my third leaf. In, yep. It's a Facebook fan gallery, Gail I'm sorry. Gail says, hi Sandy, uh, hugs and kisses. Oh, hi Gail, <laughs> hugs and kisses right back to you. A couple of people are saying hi, but they're going through too fast. Oh, you guys, so we apologize because <laughs> people are saying hi and we, I, my, it's going too fast for Michael to see. So now I'm going, and these are three inches long and one and a half inches wide. And this is just a pink grow grain. And now I'm going to lay this down. And I think I'm going to add one more petal for good measure. Whoops. And now I'm going to take my wand and scrunch it all in there. And I'm going to take my bow dabber bow wire. And I folded it in half to begin with, so Michelle I have a slip. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Pull it up here and pull it out. I'm going to separate my ends, bring it around to the back. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Stephanie says, I can't ever get my bows even, but you do an amazing job. Oh, Stephanie, the whole idea with bows is they're handmade and so if it's handmade it can't be perfect now to make it really even um you can use the hair bow tool and ruler and just lay that over and measure perfectly so and we're gonna we're gonna make some bows in a little bit where we'll use that but we're just gonna do some really cool hair bows now i could tie this onto a ponytail holder if i wanted oh and i have to shape it and you can have a really cute little ponytail holder with that. Crystal like. says hi, you guys. The flower bow is so cute. Thank you, Crystal. Um, or what I can do, I'm going to now clip the ends here and shape my bow out. Jeannie says love that. Thank you, Jeannie. Yeah, I really love this trim. And um, Michael actually designed that. Well, most everything Michael designs because he's so creative. So we need to keep him around for a long time. Um, Terry says, hello, vacation girl. Hey, Terry. Okay. Stephanie says, I have the big bow dabber. Should I get the mini one? Is that better for making hair bows? The mini is definitely better. So now you can see this is really cute. Or you could even tie it around your wrist. So it's so simple. So we're going to be using mostly the mini today for our bows. So you'll be able to see. But I like the mini for littler bows. And it's exactly the same as the big Bodabra, but as you can see, it's mini. <laughs> so, in fact, there's a really funny story. Okay, I'm going to grab my pieces here, and we're going to make another hair bow. And so that we measure and see the exact, I'm going to throw, looks like my wire is going crazy here. So we certainly don't need that much wire. And I'm just going to clip it here, fold it in half, and I just... I, it will work perfectly with the um, hair bow tool and I'm still going to just tuck my wire underneath so it stays out of my way. Now I have here a... With the five, larger one it doesn't have the ruler thing. No, unfortunately we don't, but we are working on developing one. So we've dovetailed the ends and just in case you don't know how to dovetail, basically you're just folding your ribbon in half and you're gonna cut from the fold out to the ends and then that gives you your dovetail. So I'm gonna fold it in half to find my center and I'm gonna just lay this. And now that I have the ruler, 
I can pretty much make it exactly centered. So it's like the so the little indentation is at two inches. Diane says I never knew there was a mini bodabra. Oh my gosh! Yes, <laughs> but the story behind the mini bodabras are really funny because everybody kept telling me, and I'm gonna just fold this back over here. And now I'm going to measure this out. So it's about one and three quarter inches on each side and just scrunch that in. And then I have this little piece of ribbon. I, I'll measure it to be sure, but I think it's about an inch and a half. Perfect. And it's two inches wide. And I'm just going to scrunch it in on top here. And I have a little scrunchy bow there. And now I'm gonna just lay my wand in and scrunch it all down for good measure. Bring up my wire. So anyway, I started telling you guys the story about, oh, well, let me finish this bow and then I'll tell you the story. And then I'm gonna bring it around to the back. I'm gonna tie it off. Jeannie said, super cute. Thank you, Jeannie. Whoops. And tie it knot. And then this could be tied onto a hair clip. Oh, let me let me clip it. Or a headband. And you just have a really pretty little bow. And so super simple to make. Like I promised, absolutely no sewing. So this is kind of a funny story. So we always had the big bow down wrap. But when you try to make little itty bitty bows, you have to do it towards the top of the bodabra. And for years, we'd work with everybody and we were trying to design a stand and everything like that. Then I got a new manufacturer for the bodabra and I explained the problem that we were having. And he goes, why don't you just make a mini one? And I was kind of like, oh my gosh, all those years and none of us thought about it. So that was how the mini came about. Deanna says, I just tried my mini Bodabra for the first time one hour ago and it was so easy. Instant fan. Awesome. Thank you, Deanna. Is that Deanna from Rhode Island? Okay. So now we're going to make another super simple fun bow. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little, oh, I'm going to put that on last. No, I'm not. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my little love charm, I think. She said yes. Okay, and Deanna just sent me a picture, oh my gosh, of the most beautiful bow. And Deanna invented a product called Bow K, with the letter K, and it's amazing for making bouquets, for a wedding, for, I mean, you can do so much with it. But if you go to B-O-W-K, Dot com. I hope I'm right, Deanna. Um, then you can see her product and you guys are going to fall in love. It is so cool. Scarlett says, I have them both and love them. Awesome. Thank you, Scarlett. So now we're just scrunching that in. And oh, I forgot to measure, but I, oh, I'll measure. Hold on. That's not fair. I have to measure. So um, this is 23 inches long and I believe I believe four inches, three inches wide. So again, oop, I better get my sparkly side up. I'm gonna scrunch this down into here. And let's go down there. And then we have these pieces. They're just simple scrap cuts of ribbon that are two and a half inches and I think they're like a quarter inch. Yeah, a quarter inch wide. I'm just gonna put the little blue in here and then my red and then my blue and my red. And then I just cut um, off of this, our, our Bodabra mesh, I just cut a piece that's three strands wide and about four, eight strands long. I'm just going to put that right in the middle. And now the reason that I put... Jeannie says, saw a cup and it said glitter that. Wait, what did she say? She saw a cup and it said glitter that. Oh, I love it. That's so cute. So now I'm going to put this here and hold my ribbon, my bow down. And so now the charm's going to be perfect. 
And I'm gonna separate my ends and make sure the charm falls the way I want it to. Bring it around to the back. Diane says, are the minis available in stores or just your website? How much also? You can buy the minis at Michael's, Joann's, Pat Catan's, um, or on Amazon. So, and the prices vary, um, but I will be very honest, it's, it's probably gonna be cheaper if you go to one of the stores. Even if you go like with one of your 50% off coupons, you can buy them there. And now I'm going to clip the end. Oh, I can tie this again. I'll tie, could tie this onto a ponytail holder with my wire. And we're just gonna move that around. And there you have it. Not cute and super, super simple. So now, do you want me to put it on the box so it's easier to see? That's okay, cool. Now also, the other thing I wanted to remind you guys, at bodabrablog.com on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we have brand new projects. So I do new projects for you um, when I do my lives, but on bodabrablog.com, we have brand new projects, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. We do recipes on Thursdays, so that's kind of fun. And then on Sundays, we put the replay of the live, so if you missed it, you can watch it again on Sunday. So I just want to let you guys know that. Michelle shared. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Michelle. And also, I forgot to say, please share with any of your friends, anybody who likes to make hair bows or can't make hair bows and wants to learn, definitely please share with them. Deanna says, the slip knot technique changed my world. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Deanna. I know it makes such a difference. So now I'm going to fold it in half and lay this down into my mini bonabra. And... I'm gonna take this piece, which is um, nine inches long, and it's one and a half inches wide. I'm gonna fold it in half, and take the center and scrunch that down. Now I've already dovetailed the ends, and then I've got this piece here, which is 11 inches long. So I'm just gonna go here and scrunch this into my mini and then come back around and push that in. And um, then I push my, and I'll just, because if you don't have the ruler, the way to measure if things are equal is to just bring them up like that, and that is equal. So now I have a piece, I believe this is two and a half inches wide. Nope, I'm, oh no, two. it's two and a quarter. That's a weird size, and it's, 15 inches long. So we're gonna do a little scrunchy in here. And yeah, I mean, I love, if you guys are watching this live, um, or if you're watching the replay, please just let me know that you're watching the replay because I will definitely respond and be in touch with you. I'm usually pretty good. This is why we have the wand, to scrunch everything in. Because sometimes a ribbon doesn't wanna cooperate the way I want it to. So now I have these cute little corker ribbons. And they're about three inches, two and a half inches long. Lay these down in here. Let me make sure, let me double check that. Yeah, they're about three inches long. And as many of you know, I cheat and I buy my corker ribbon pre-made. So now I'm just gonna push this down. And I'm going to- Gail says, hi Sandy. Hi. That's Gail Denise. Oh, hi, Gail. Okay, so now let's put this, because I know Gail Griffin will love the colors I'm using here because she loves purple. And of course, I'm I'm using the regular Bodabra wand in the mini dots. So David says the wand makes life so much easier. Oh, I couldn't agree more. And now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to pull this through my slip knot because there's a lot of ribbon in here for the mini. Just gonna hold everything down, pull it really tight, and I'm gonna pull it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back. Gail says, yes, it's very beautiful. Thank you, Gail. 
and tie a knot. Oops. So um, next week, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. Oh, and then I can tie this. I'll just do this on this one, tie it on the ponytail holder. And Jeannie says so pretty. Thank you, Jeannie. And just so you guys know, we do have a Bodabra fan gallery where everybody that has a Bodabra or it, we just share our crafts and our projects. And let me just do all this over here. And you have a really cute little hair bow. Whoops. There we go. Not cute, and oh, I'll put my my little flowers around here. It's just cute and super super simple. So now I'm gonna put this one aside, and I'm actually going to put it over here. Crystal says pretty. Thank you, Crystal. And I need to just grab. So again, these are just. And for and says white gauge is the bow wire. Thing. It's, you know what, it isn't a gauge and it's actually bow dabber bow wire. And what makes it really unique, let me see if Michael can bring the camera up and show it, is we have a really fine wire in here, but we also have a nylon filament. And the reason that we do that is so the wire is really easy on your hands and you can, it's a wire, but it has really a lot of strength. And you can just simply cut it with scissors. You don't need needle nose pliers or anything. So that's actually our bow dabber bow wire. Um, and I couldn't even tell you the gauge. <laughs> so now we have it in gold and in silver. I've just been using silver today because I don't know. I just think it matches with the bows that I'm making. And you're not really even seeing the wire in what I'm making today. So now again here we pre-cut. Oh, let me clean up my little mess here. We've pre-cut these pieces from our rhinestone ribbon, and they're two rhinestones wide, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Lucky number 13. So now, thank you, Michael just reminded me to put my wire in first. <laughs> Which is probably a really good idea. So I've got it folded in half. I'm going to tuck it under the bow dabra. And for this bow, I'm going to just get the tail there. Now fold it back. Whoops, I think I want to make it a little bit bigger. Twist it. Now fold it. And just leave this just like this. My wires aren't, my lengths aren't exactly the same. So I'm just gonna cut this here. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just do another dovetail. So I'll fold it in half and I'll cut it towards the end. So that evens it out. So, you know, you know things are never perfect. So I just want you guys to realize that. So now I'm gonna just put this in here. I'm gonna fold it back. And I'm going to bring this around here and put it underneath here. So it's just like an X. Well, it's almost just like an X. So now my bottom loop is going to go here. My top loop is going to go right there. So we're going to have a little smaller loops. And then I'm going to take my rhinestones and lay those down. Take another rhinestone. And I'm going to bring my Bodabra bow Ian wire. Ian says I have a Bodabra but find it hard to get bow wire as I'm in the UK. Oh, um, have you tried Amazon, Ann? So I'm gonna pull it really tight, pull it out, separate the ends, and I think Hobbycraft carries the bow wire. And actually, thank you very much for watching from the UK because it's pretty late your time. I'm so excited with all of my people who watch me from all over the world. So now you have this cute little bow. Let's just sort of shape that. Isn't that fun? And again, super simple. So that's the whole cool thing with Bodabra. 
So now we are going to go on to another bow. And isn't it cool? Like how many, one, two, three, four, five bows I've made in like 20 minutes. So that's pretty cool. So let's see what I want to do next. Okay. Now, just in case you don't have a mini Bodabra, you could make this in the mini, but I'm gonna make it in the big Bodabra. And I'm gonna start with a piece of tulle. She said you're welcome, we'll try Hobbycraft. Yeah, Hobbycraft should be able to help you out. And if not, please um, email me or um, ping me on Messenger and let me know and I'll check it out for you. So this is just a piece of scrap tulle and it's about 15 inches long and four inches wide. So I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, fold it in half, cut it, lay it down into my Bodabra, tuck the ends underneath, to keep them out of the way. Now this is just to give a little bit of height and um, accent to the bow. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the center. I'm gonna just fold this over, put that one going that way, and this one going this direction. And then I'm gonna take a little piece of my sparkly and just gonna scrunch that in. And again, just a quick reminder that Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, we have brand new Bodabra projects every single week at bodabrablog.com. Let's get to lay this down in here. And if you know anybody with a little girl who wants to learn how to make hair bows or gets frustrated with all the sewing, um, please tell them about Bodabra and share this video with them. So now I'm gonna scrunch it all down and I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, pull it through the slip knot, Hold it tight while it's still in the Bodabra. And now I'll pull it out. Separate the ends. Bring it around to the back. And find the center here, which is always hard when you've got something like tool. <laughs> okay, so now I have the center. So I'm just going to tie it and tie a knot. And you could tie this onto a ponytail holder or onto a clip. And I'm gonna clip my ends. But obviously I'm not tying it onto anything this time, but if I were, I would tie it on before I clip the ends. And let's just kind of shape this out. And this is wire, so I like to put my fingers in and kind of really accentuate the loops. Do the same thing here. And you have a really super, super simple no so hair bow. So I hope you guys are enjoying all this. Darlena says, Sandy, I need help making a special bow for a little girl with brain cancer. Oh. She wants to open flower. I can't see the rest of the message. Okay, Darlena, I will definitely answer you back after um, after the live. I'll, it'll, my, it, it might take me a day or two, but I'll definitely get to it, and then I'll make it a point on the next on one of the next Facebook lives, or I might even be able to direct you. One thing I do want to tell you though is um, I've worked a lot and taken Bodabra to children's hospitals, and a lot of the children were had leukemia or were or under chemo, and they had lost their hair. So what I like to do is put it on a headband for them, and then they can wear it, and they're so proud. So that's something to think about if, I hope that helps somewhat. Um, Crystal one, says so cute and Jeannie says love that, so super cute. Oh, Crystal and Jeannie, thank you guys so much. And um, let's do, we have time for at least one more. So let's make, what are we gonna do? Oh, here's a really super simple fun one. So I'm just gonna, what we, Let's see what we've done here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually change my design here. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna just measure what I want as you're watching me. 
So I want this to go here. Okay, so I'm gonna clip this right here and I'll tell you guys the measurements and what I did in a minute. So I've got two pieces of ribbon. They're both wired. Um, one of them is, let's see how long this is. One of them is 10 inches long and this should be the same. It didn't quite come out exactly the same. The smaller one is about a quarter, no, it's a half an inch. And the bigger one is an inch. So I'm gonna start by putting Bodabra bow wire into my mini Bodabra. And the other thing I did wanna tell you guys is um, next week for Labor Day, just really quick, I'm not 100% certain I'm gonna have somebody to film my Facebook Live. So I'm gonna do a Facebook Live, but it might be a surprise. Um, so we'll see, hopefully I'll be here, but just in case, I'm still gonna do a live, same time, but it might be something a little different since I, don't, I can't really film myself. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is start by putting um, my herringbone in the middle, my chevron, I mean not herringbone, and I'm just gonna scrunch that there. Then I'm gonna fold this back and scrunch this down and then I'm gonna scrunch this one right here. So now I have my, whoops, it's not quite even. So just scrunch that right in there. Then I'm gonna take these two pieces, which are four and a half inches and four and a half inches. So now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. And I'm gonna bring it back around. And let's push that in and then push the center. So it's a small little center. And then I'm gonna take my orange little corker ribbon. And if you're watching and you wanna know where I get the pre-made corker ribbon, just write corker link, because otherwise I won't know what link you want. And I will, um, I'll give you in a, a comment returning letting you know. So I'm gonna pull that out here, separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and tie a knot. And I'm gonna tie another knot. And, and then again, you could tie it onto a barrette or whatever, and clip it. And now I'm just going to shape this. And I don't have one, but I think it might be really cute to put a little gemstone right there. So that's just a really cute, simple little hair bow. So, oh my gosh, it's already time. I can't even believe where the time goes. So I wanna thank all of you so much for sharing, for letting me know that you enjoy these um, Facebook Lives that I do. And I will see you next week. So I hope you guys have an amazing week and we'll see you on Labor Day. Okay, bye everybody.